Hello everyone. Let's say that you have a S3 bucket with hundreds and hundreds of files that you need to download to your local machine. There's no way to download all these files at once with the console. So what you can do is you can use the AWS command line interface to download all these files. I have 20 files in this bucket right now with one command and I'm going to show you that command. But before that, let's move to our terminal window. So before you can use this command, you need to install the AWS command line interface and you need to configure the AWS command line interface. Not only that, but the credentials that you configure the command line interface has to have permissions to access Amazon S3. I have a video that I'm going to link in the description below that you can watch to see how you install and configure your AWS command line interface. But once you have the AWS command line interface installed and configured, the command to download everything from that bucket that we saw earlier is AWS S3 sync and the name of the origin bucket, which is S3. This is the name of my bucket and I'm going to sync everything from that bucket and I'm going to click on dot, which means current folder. So once I have this, I'm going to click enter and all the files in my S3 bucket is now downloaded. And as you saw the logs and if I type in LS and list all the files, now I have 20 files that I just downloaded from Amazon S3. Now I can also conversely upload everything from my current machine to Amazon S3 with one command. And for that, all you need to do is to reverse the order of the command. So I'm going to go click on the up arrow and find the command that I use to sync the bucket and my folder. So once I get to this command, all I need to do is to switch the dot in front of the bucket name. So now the origin is my local folder and the name of the bucket is this bucket. Now this bucket already has all the files that I'm about to sync. So let me quickly go back to my console and delete all the files on that bucket. So I'm going to select all the files and delete them. Once I delete all the files, I'm going to go back to my command line interface and click enter. Now this time the sync happens from my local machine to the S3 bucket. So I could use this to back up my files and I have a video that shows you how to use cron uh, scheduler to automatically back up your local files to S3 bucket on a certain interval. So let's quickly check our S3 bucket to make sure everything works. So once I go back to this window and refresh, now you can see everything is synced up and everything was uploaded just by one command. And that's how you download everything from a bucket to your local machine with one command and conversely upload everything from your folder and put it to S3 in one single command. And the command that we use was AWS S3 sync. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this video or things related to this video, please post your questions in the comment section. Check out my channel for other videos like this. Check out my website for more content like this. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more videos very soon. See you in the next lesson.